very fast in the face of an economic crisis. I want to know what you would do within the first two years to make sure that Congress moves fast as far as environmental issues like climate change and green jobs. Well, thank you. Um, look, we are in tough economic times. We all know that. And let's keep, never forget the struggle that Americans are in today. But when we can, when we have an issue that we may hand our children and our grandchildren a damaged planet, I have disagreed strongly with the Bush administration on this issue. I traveled all over the world looking at the effects of greenhouse gas emissions. Joe Lieberman and I, and I introduced the first legislation, and we forced votes on it. That's the good news, my friends. Bad news is we lost. But we kept the debate going, and we kept this issue to, to posing to Americans the danger that climate change opposes. Now, how, what's, what's the best way of fixing it? Nuclear power. Senator Obama says that it has to be safe or disposable or something like that. Look, I've, I was on Navy ships that had nuclear power plants. Nuclear power is safe and it's clean, and it creates hundreds of thousands of jobs. And, and, and I know that we can reprocess the spent nuclear fuel, the Japanese, the British, uh, and, and the French do it. And we can do it too. Senator Obama has opposed that. We can move forward and clean up our climate and develop green technologies and alternate, uh, alternative energies for, for hybrid, for hydrogen, for battery-powered cars so that we can clean up our environment and at the same time get our economy going by creating millions of jobs. We can do that, we as Americans, because we're the best innovators, we're the best producers, and 95% of the people who are our market live outside of the United States of America. Senator Obama. Uh, this is one of the biggest challenges of our times. Uh, and it is absolutely critical that we understand this is not just a challenge, it's an opportunity. Because if we create a new energy economy, we can create 5 million new jobs easily here in the United States. It can be an engine that drives us into the future the same way the computer was the engine for economic growth over the last couple of decades. And we can do it, but we're going to have to make an investment. The same way the computer was originally invented by a bunch of government scientists who were trying to figure out for defense purposes how to communicate, we've got to understand this is a national security issue as well. And that's why we've got to make some investments. And I've called for investments in solar, wind, geothermal, contrary to what Senator McCain keeps on saying. I favor nuclear power as one component of our overall energy mix. But this is another example where I think it is important to look at the record. Senator McCain and I actually agree on something. He said a while back that the big problem with energy is that for 30 years, politicians in Washington haven't done anything. What Senator McCain doesn't mention is he's been there 26 of them. And during that time, he voted 23 times against alternative fuels. 23 times. So it's easy to talk about this stuff during a campaign, but it's important for us to under, understand that it requires a sustained effort from the next president. One last point I want to make on energy. Uh, Senator McCain talks a lot about drilling, and that's important, but we have 3% of the world's oil reserves, and we use 25% of the world's oil. So what that means is that we can't simply drill our way out of the problem. And we're not going to be able to deal with the climate crisis if our only solution is to use more fossil fuels that create global warming. We're going to have to come up with alternatives, and that means that the United States uh, government is working with the private sector to fund the kind of innovation that we can then export to countries like China that also need energy and are setting up one coal-powered plant a week, we've got to make sure that we're giving them the energy that they need or, or helping them to create the energy that they need. Uh, gentlemen, uh, you may not have noticed, but we have whites around here. <laughs> they, have, they have red and right. green and yellow, and they are at a signal. Tell you to what, I'm just trying to keep up with John. Tell you, right what, of, okay, you, know, here, tell you John. like Tom, wave, wave like that, we, and I'll look at you. All right, Senator. Okay. Uh, here's a follow-up to that, one-minute discussion. Sure. It's a simple question. Sure. 
Should we fund a Manhattan-like project that develops a nuclear bomb to deal with global energy and alternative energy, or should we fund 100,000 garages across America, the kind of industry and innovation that developed Silicon Valley? I think pure research and development investment on the part of the, of the United States government is certainly appropriate. I think once it gets into productive uh, stages that we ought to obviously turn it over to the private sector. By the way, my friends, I, I know you grow a little weary of this back and forth. <laughs> it was an energy bill on the floor of the Senate loaded down with goodies, billions for the oil companies, and it was sponsored by Bush and Cheney. You know who voted for it? You might never know. That one. You know who voted against it? Me. I have fought a time after time against these pork barrel, these, these, these bills that come to the floor and they have all kinds of goodies and all kinds of things in them for everybody and they buy off the votes. I vote against them, my friends. I vote, them, I vote against them. But the point is also, on oil drilling, oil drilling offshore now is vital so that we can bridge the gap. We can bridge the gap between imported oil which is, which is a national security issue as well as any other, and it will reduce the price of a barrel of oil because when people know there's a greater supply, then the cost of that will go down. That's fundamental economics. We've got to drill offshore, my friends, and we've got to do it now, and we can do it. And as far as nuclear power is concerned, again, again, look at the record. Senator Obama has approved storage and, re and reprocessing of spent nuclear fuel. And I'll stop, Tommy, and you didn't even weigh it. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much, Senator. Next question.